name is Kelpi. I'm a musician, I'm a music producer. I was born and raised in Lagos, Nigeria. And music was part of my life. I think 80% of my life was music, right from childhood. Because I was around people who love music, my friends. Either this one is a producer or this one also is an artist. Because I started as an artist, you get me, before I took it professionally in 2016, where I started learning how to make beats. Then in 2017, I started making my own beats. I had a friend called uh, Morientes. He used to play the guitar. He told me, oh, bro, Solista wants to work with you. And at that point of time, Solista is known in Nigeria. So I'm like, oh, I was excited about it. So Solista came and you know when you're meeting an A-list artist for the first time, you're playing your best beats and to impress the artist. And he was like, ah, calm down, calm down, calm down. Ah, don't worry, don't shake, calm down, calm down. So I had to put myself together. Then we recorded two songs that day. And from there we picked up. Solista is a great artist, he's talented man. I try to make sure I put my own ideas in every instrumental I create. And when I'm working with the artists, I also give them ideas and contribute in the song. I just don't play the beat and allow the artists to just record or sing anything they want to sing, you get me? Like, I involve myself 100% in the music. Like, there's something I always say, Kelpi did for everybody. It means there's no politics, like I can work with this one, work with this one, work with this one, work with this one, as long as we make great music together. When I hear I'm going into a session, or I'm going for a session uh, with any artist, first of all, I have it in my head, oh, I pray this artist is a very good songwriter, or I pray this artist has songwriters. <laughs> in his or her camp because for me I have beats down so I just need vocals I think that's all I need in my life right now <laughs> I need good vocals <laughs> I would say 80% of the music right now I'm talking about Afro beats 80% of the music right now is the instrumental two the artist delivery three the artist's vocals and four, the lyrics. Afrobeat, we don't really mess with lyrics like that. <laughs> we don't care about lyrics. I'm not putting the beat first because I'm a producer, no. <laughs> I'm putting the beat first because the beat speaks for everything. These four things makes a good record. Most of my sessions happened in a hotel room, different hotels. Some of these artists, they don't, go to, they don't like going to the studio, man. It's just their vibe. <laughs> like they, they believe they can make music everywhere. Yeah, you can make music everywhere. That's true. You can actually make music anywhere, anytime, everywhere. It just depends on the producer and the artist. Depends on the creative head, what you guys are making. What's up, y'all? This is B.O.B. This is G-Eazy. I'm Mo. This is Julia Michaels. This is Logic. Make sure you subscribe to the Recording Academy channel. Flex.